Hey survivors, how's it going? Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost to Far Harbor. Last time we found an enraged legendary fog crawler, and I had a comment saying that uh, I should man up, go and get the harvester, the unique ripper over at Echo Lake Lumber, and just take some drugs and claim with that. Well, I tried it. And let me show you the results. Apparently blocking is not effective. Let's try the more aggressive approach. Let's try the drugs approach. I took the audio out here because it just sounds so god awful it would have hurt your ears. Nope. So we gotta go back up to Zephyr Ridge and get our fat man and too many nukes and uh, then we'll blow this guy to hell. So actually I think what I'm gonna do is uh, try to build up a Vats crit and then we'll use a crit on him because that will do, you know, 10,000 damage with the main nuke. So yeah, I'm gonna look for some stuff to kill around here and then uh, build up a crit and then we'll get the fat man and dispatch of this guy. Some uh, ghouls would be ideal. Oh, hello. Well, I can hit him quite a few times. I'm pretty sure I just heard uh, I have a crit now. So that should do. That'll do. Okay, so back at Zephyr Ridge Camp, picked up the fat man. Getting some sleep, just want to get a save in case things go really, really badly here. Now we gotta walk back down there and kill this guy. Watch him be like right over this hill. Right in my... Oh god, there he is, yep. So, I think uh, Comex is actually a really big advantage here, like it should increase the sneak attack damage. 1% chance, man, that is enough for me. Good enough, alright. Let's see what kind of drugs we got here. Uh, let's go ahead and use to Calmex for the uh, sneak attack multiplier as well as more perception and agility. Restore sanity too, which is cool. I'm thinking probably some Psycho Jet just for the increased 50% more damage. It's quite a big deal. And then we'll do some uh, purified water here since we took so many drugs. And uh, okay, cross your fingers guys. Here we go. Okay, I mean that sh that should really do it. Let's Let's hope. Oh yeah. Success, my friends. Success. That is a beautiful sight. That is uh, how you kill the hardest enemy in the game. With the most powerful weapon in the game. And a lot of drugs. Let's see what our legendary frog... Fog... Not frog. Fog crawler friend has. A penetrating, calibrated, powerful combat sniper rifle? No, a regular a regular sniper rifle. Ignores 30% of the target's damage and area resistance. That's not bad. Uh, it's not bad. It's not what I was hoping for. But I'll take it. Alright, so we gotta he start heading down south now. And uh, get to Brookshead Lighthouse is where we're going. Oh, hello, sir. Okay, range guy first. That's how it starts. Okay, now I can finally kill this damn melee person. It's right, it's what you get. That's what you get. Damn, took a beating. All right, 
So yeah, just going down south now, uh, trying to, I, I really want to get to our base this episode, guys. I really, really would like to get down there. Get to where I've been trying to go for like the last, you know, couple episodes. Nice, got some more 56 rounds. Would like to get an assault rifle. I can't loot this guy? Are you serious? No, I can't loot him. Well, I just realized, I guess with 17 endurance and 13 agility and the, the sprinting stuff, I can just run pretty much forever like I don't really see myself running out of stamina here this is actually pretty awesome to be honest this is like actually proper running like you'd actually like you're actually in shape you know you just sprint as long as you want to I uh, I am starting to wonder if like the weather is being overridden by uh, the pilgrim mod and if it is I may decide to go ahead and disable pilgrim altogether I know guys I know it sucks but uh no more crazy heartbeat music or soundtrack, whatever. Honestly, like, it used, it used to really scare me. Like, it used to really kind of get under my skin. But now it's just kind of like, eh, whatever. Like, this is really nice weather. I don't think Frost is supposed to have this nice of weather. Although it is really nice out. It's nice for a change. But uh, I don't think Frost is supposed to look like this. So there's the docks. Already been over there. Apparently I'm standing in some crap. Okay, we're almost here, guys. We're almost here. Almost over to Lighthouse. There's going to be a lot of enemies over there, though. I would really like to get a save in somewhere around here if I can. If there's a, a bed somewhere. Apparently these people didn't have a bed. Uh, no, I can't use this bed. It's too trashy. We're too good for that bed, guys. We've got standards, you know? we got standards. This is the quarry, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I want to do the quarry just yet. I want to find a place to kind of rest my head first. But just south of here should be where we're going. Here's a sleeping bag. We'll get an hour of sleep in here, just in case. Nope, oh, there's a bear. Turn towards me, bear. Close enough. Yeah, it hurt, didn't it? Oh, it's a hunter, okay. I can't believe I missed that. Can't believe it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that almost one shot me, man. Holy crap. This is our destination. This is the lighthouse. Oh, you son of a... He ducked that one, man. Oh, man. Okay. How are you shooting at me over there, dude? How are you shooting at me from over there? Was that a missile? For the love of God, man. Lever action, very good. Now, I know I got the crosshairs back on, guys. I'm sorry. I had switched back from Horizon. I didn't feel like redoing my whole UI again. It's such a pain in the butt to do it. Crap. No, un unstealth, dude. Just stop shooting at me, man. We're having a knife fight over here. That's right. BAM! Okay. Let's take away... I'm gonna leave that on him. Am I over encumbered yet? Not quite. Not the fat man. Put that away. Only got one bullet left for that. Oh, come on. I was, I was sure I got that. I was so... That was a hit, man. 
I don't understand how that missed. Thank God I have a ton of endurance. What's what's my health at right now? I have still only 440. It's not very much. All right, but this is it, guys. We're home. This is our new home. You just die, man. I want to live. This place is everything, though, man. Every every workbench you'd want. Um, it's not very convenient, but otherwise, you know, pretty great. All right, well, I can sleep here now. Get a save in here. Not sad, like she was right down this way. Also, set of power armor here. Nothing on it, but there's a set of power armor here. Oh, you know what? I bet she's way up top. That's where she is. Yep, she's up on top in the lighthouse itself. Okay. Even got a shower here, guys. Such modern conveniences. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Yeah, I just murdered your entire camp. I think it'd be obvious by now. Oh god, that guy scared me. You know. Whoa, oh, don't don't fall down. A railway rifle, that would have hurt. Ah, oh, there she goes. Mysterious hollow tape. What does that have on it? Well, that settles it. I am 100% screwed. Damn this fog. You'd think a lighthouse would be easy to find, but not this. Never seen fog like it. Can't believe I let myself get talked into this. How do I know that woman wasn't crazy? I'm starting to think her whole story was some fantasy she cooked up to get attention. Taking out one trapper to avenge her husband's death. Sound easy enough. Now I wish I'd stayed far away from this godforsaken island. Shit, something's coming. Okay, so that I'm pretty sure that's vanilla stuff. Yeah. What does Douglas's note say here? Cause some of my boys trying to steal some of the loot we took off that traitor had to put a bullet in him to show the others. Just in the leg for now. Put all the stuff in a trunk and dropped it in one of the fishing nets. I'll hang onto the key for thinking I had any ideas. Okay. So, um, treasure chest somewhere out there. We gotta get the key, though. Excellent. Oh, hey, it's the Anders Almanac. 5% higher VAT's chance against animals you're in combat with. Okay. I'm gonna go through this entire area now and just grab everything. Pick up all the things and take them back to, uh, probably the weapons workbench for now. Well, I'll try to sort stuff, like our old base. Just have to go through all the stuff and uh, get all the stuff I want, which is everything for now. Dump it all into the bases, and uh, then we'll kind of have to sort stuff. And anyway, I'm going to do that. It's going to take a while. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so I think I'm pretty much done with looting that area and got everything kind of sorted. But I do have a whole bunch of stuff to go and get up at Haddock. Haddock uh, Cove as well as Zephyr Ridge Camp. I did store caches of stuff up there. I also forgot some stuff. Well, I didn't forget some stuff, but I have some stuff back at, uh... Uh-oh. I did just save, so if it's a bear and he kills me, then, well... It's a bear. Definitely a bear. See if we can get up on top of here so we can shoot this bear without uh, being shot or being killed. Where'd you go, bear? There you are. Cannot believe that missed. Okay. I can't believe that missed either. Oh, that's right. This is glass, so you can't shoot through that. What a troll you are, Mr. Bear. What a freaking troll you are. I do want to kill him because I want the experience. I want to level up some more. Um, I picked up some ranks and scrapper. I've realized that all that leaded armor that I kind of passed up earlier, that can all be broken down for the lead, and then I can make uh, mentats if I get brain fungus and abraxo, which I already have some brain fungus and abraxo. Okay, 
Show me your show me your face there, dude. Holy shit, he's a strong bear. Big bear, strong bear. Didn't do hardly anything to him. And now he's a gone bear. Where'd you go, bear? And those are ghouls. Wonderful. There's our bear. This was like I can jump it through the window here. That'd be nice. Whoa! Go! Oh, God! Oh. You can't get me through there, you dummy. Scared the crap out of me, though. That was like really loud right in my ear. I can get that chest from here, though. Nice. Anything that has lead in it, I'll pick up, I guess, even though it's extremely heavy. I like... I don't know why everything is highlighted suddenly. That's weird. Probably should not be wasting ammo on these guys. Well, that bear's gonna come back and literally bite me in the butt, I'm pretty sure. But what can you do, you know? What can you do? Thought I saw something, just the fog though. Just the fog. Anyways, as I was saying, I had to make some trips up to the old camp. Probably will take several trips. I don't need to pick up like every piece of light armor, but uh, a couple of them would be good. A couple more would be good. I already have some, and uh, I'll get quite a bit of lead out of each one. So you know, I should should be pretty good as far as mentats go. Anyways, guys, run over back and forth. It's gonna take me a couple of hours to haul everything back and forth. So. I'm not going to record it. I'll, I'll see you once I'm done with all that. It's going to take forever. I did stop by and get my steamer trunk over here that I forgot in the last episode. Or episode 1, I think I couldn't get it first. I had no bobby pins, but yeah, I got it. There you go. Nothing good there. All right, guys. Took me a couple of hours, but I got everything moved over. We're all good to go. Got a lot of different weapons, a lot of different ammo. By far the most ammo that I had, though, was for the uh, 38 caliber variety. Uh, I had 200 rounds, so I went ahead and made my nice uh, penetrating legendary item into a 38 caliber sniper rifle, which I know is less powerful, but because it's penetrating and because I have so many rounds for it, I figured uh, we'll go with that for now. Hopefully it's sufficient for now, and then later on we can upgrade it to uh, 308 caliber or use something else, really, is what we'll probably end up doing. Anyway, I'm going up north now to where I think around about is going to be the armor, and I'm actually going to ignore, like, everything. I'm not going to stop and uh, clear these places out. I'll do it later once I have the armor, and I have it all set up with pockets and stuff on it. Once I have more carry weight basically I'll worry about this stuff but for now we're just concerned with getting that armor okay I hear somebody I am gonna kill these guys I do want level ups too because I want to be able to get the last rank of scrapper I would vastly prefer if, uh, oh, hello. Crap, that was my fault. Where'd you go? There's one more out there somewhere. Oh, Jesus, okay. Got him. If I can get headshots, this thing is pretty good. And I'm obviously getting a lot of ammo for it.
Yeah, getting lots of ammo, 38 ammo, so it's pretty good. Now, I would vastly prefer if this was on a combat rifle and I could make it automatic. That'd be a lot better. You bleed, man. Let's reset my thing here for right up here, then we'll... We'll cross over over here, and then uh, we'll go up. I, I think it's somewhere around this area up here. I remember that weird... It looks kind of like a duck. Duck's head up there. The duck head pond. I remember that from last playthrough. That's Death Claw, and uh, how... Ooh. He's a high-level one, man. He's really a high-level one. Um, I've got some explosives, so that's good. This is not very good, guys. Uh, shit. You know, this is not good. Was hoping he would hit more of those mines. God. Come run over these nice mines here, Deathclaw. Right over here, this way. Hell is he? Can I get a grenade or something going here? Like a frag grenade? Yeah. Where'd he, where'd he go? Why is he suddenly not aggroed anymore? I could run away. That's always an op- It's like, that's an option here, you know? I could run away. He's gotta be stuck around here somewhere, right? What is he doing? What are you doing, Deathclaw? I'll take it, man, but what are you doing? Now, he, now he's active, okay. Okay. Ghouls. It's not gonna work. The hell, ghoul, you have no head, man. He's so bugged out. Can he not get back here? Is that the problem? Yeah, that's the problem. He can't get back here. He's too fat. Oh, shit. There he is. Run! Motherfucker, run! Oh, shit. He might have gotten past there this time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, not good. So switching out the, for the 38 caliber may have been a bad idea, guys. Might have been a bad idea, because now I don't have the firepower. I need to actually kill this guy. Oh god, there he is. Okay. Get the ghouls. Go fight the ghouls, man. Can he not get up here? Oh darn. Oh god! Oh god, can he not get me up here? He can't. Where, where'd he go? Where is he? If I could get him just like 
hit that mine there and blow up on that that truck that'd be just fantastic I absolutely can't see him anywhere though I don't, I don't know where he's gone if you just blow that up right there and then just get hit by that oh shit oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god is he dead All right, I was legitimately terrified there. That was the sound of me crapping my pants, pretty much. Well, he's dead. We did it, guys. We did it unscathed, too, but holy crap. Oh, man. Hopefully my neighbors aren't mad about that one. Sorry, I'm sure I, like, blew your ears out there. He There's a nest over here, okay. That explains some things, I guess. That explains why they were so angry at me. You know what? We're not even going over there. We're just going to cross over over here and get our armor. Almost there. Doing good so far. Got some EXP. How close are we leveling up? About halfway. Pretty close. Alright, so we just walk across over here. Should be fine. Just some feral ghouls. That's okay. Some more experience. Oh, maybe I can get this a headshot on this guy. Nope. Nope. Hmm, that's some nice toxic green waste there. Green floating fog. Alright, and then we're like up in this vicinity somewhere, just like northeast-ish, a little bit, a little bit east-ish, mostly north-ish. This could be the end of me right here. Bears are pretty fast, man. See, this was a combat rifle, I could just shoot so much faster. It'd be so much easier. It's the problem with this, like, you get one shot, and you're done, and for so long. If you don't get a headshot, then it's just like, oh my god. Okay, got him. But yeah, I disabled Pilgrim for a little bit, um, to see if it would change the weather, and it uh, kinda has, not a lot, but... It, it's more foggy now than it was before, which is good. I like the fogginess better. Wow, this is like... This is crazy. This is a big old whale here, wasn't it? I'll go up on the road here and kind of stick to that, and then we'll just go up that way. No more bears, hopefully. Actually, I'm okay with some bears. It's fine. Bring it on, bears. Just no more death claws. That was a bit scary. That was a high-level one, too. It, uh, it seems like... I don't know, it's... <gasps> oh, Jesus! Ah, what the hell? Okay. say so man infection well it's not a big deal I'll just regen it but still that sucks
Where's the other guy at? Okay, I think that's it. This guy bugged out. No, we got him. There we go. Other one went, yeah, down here. That infection, though. Okay. Another pipe rifle. China's officer sword's pretty good, too. But yeah, I think I'll just stick with my uh, nice stabby knife here. Really could use an assault rifle or a combat rifle. Either one would truly be fantastic right about now. I'm getting really sick of using this hunter's rifle. It just doesn't cut it for the DPS, man. And these enemies are too high level to just like one shot them with a headshot. It just doesn't work, man. These guys, these hunters were cannibals. Not that, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I guess, you know, gotta do what you have to do to survive, you know, in this world, I guess, but still. So here's, here's a, here's a thought, guys. Here's a little topic for discussion, okay? So I was reading about, um, in about 10, 20 years, we're not going to actually Probably we won't be doing actual farming anymore. Instead, we'll just be uh, creating meat in petri dishes, basically. Not, not really petri dishes, but like really big petri dishes, if, if you will. I hope that was a hostile dog. Just said dog. Maybe it was a nice one, I don't know. I just assumed. Anyway, they're going to be making these... Um, these petri dish meats, right? Which means that we don't have to don't have to raise animals and kill them and eat them. Nope, here's the airplane. Okay, it's on the map right there, so. <laughs> so anyway, um I guess the question is, you know, like so you can actually take like you could eat anything and it there'd be no no moral implications or consequences for anything because you're not actually killing something for it, right? So, you know, if you want to eat, and we could do like ancient DNA, like ancient meat too, like you could have a T-Rex steak, you know, or a Stegosaurus steak, or Brontosaurus steak, or whatever. But, you could also do human. You could eat human. And uh, there wouldn't really be any moral consequences. Now, I know someone's going to talk about, oh, but you, isn't that bad for you? Doesn't it, doesn't it harm, harm you or hurt you? Um, only if you eat the brains of other people who have been infected by that. Uh, it has to do with the, the prions or the prions. Not sure how you say it exactly, but uh, it has to do with that. I guess what I'm saying is uh, it probably would not be a, a big deal as long as you're not eating the brains. As long as we're not growing the brains, it'd be okay. I really doubt we would. It would most likely just be, uh, you know, muscle tissue. Anyway, that's, 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 your, that's your philosophical thought. Is it okay to eat human? If no humans are harmed, harmed in the making of the meat, it's just like petri dish grown DNA. And would you try it? Other question there. Would you would you try it? Okay, so here's here's the guy's journal here. Um, Alfred Parrish's journal number two. Uh, let me go ahead and get all of these first, and I'll read them all at once. Okay. So that's how we'll do it. Oh crap! This guy. He's not happy with me. I stole some of his stuff. Got a, oh god. He's got a nice uh, weapon. I think this fool's gonna kill him though. Oh shit! He just one shot me. Oh man. I gotta go all the way back. Oh my god. Alright guys, gonna approach from a different angle this time. Uh, I, I also. So I. I went and put the 308 receiver back on this thing because it I just didn't like it man I didn't like the uh, the 38 receiver it just doesn't do enough damage but yeah I gotta find this guy and kill him because man he's rough like he's beating me up it's like one or two shotting me every time again I'm just trying out this uh, this whole this whole thing with uh, not using pilgrim Was disturbing. His hand went up there for a second. Oh, there's a there's a bed right here, man. You know, oh, it's it's owned seriously. I mean, I guess it is owned, but still, like it sucks that I can't use it. 
be nice if I get a save in up here. But yeah, I brought the combat shotgun as well as the uh, sniper rifle with the actual 308 barrel on it because screw. There he is. What just happened? The hell did he go? You won't just run, right? Oh, thank God. All right. Oh, it's just an advanced uh, lever action rifle, but it did a lot of damage. But anyway, this is what we've come for, guys. This is what we're here for. This guy's got the good stuff. Got our flight suit. Actually, I don't know. Uh, flight suit versus army fatigues. I think I'd take the army fatigues. But the uh, zealot stuff, man. That is some good armor. It is heavy, but man, it is really, really good. Um, I think I'll guess I'll wear this for now. So I can take stuff back. Actually, do I want to take this stuff back? Do I even care? I don't think I even care. I really don't think I even care about this, this armor. I think I'm just going to drop everything. It's not gonna matter. I'll keep the black flight suit because whatever, it's it's really light. But yeah, everything else, man, just drop it. It's fine. The terminal about this guy, and he's talking about basically his friends turning into ghouls, and uh, like they're not sure. He doesn't. He's not sure what's going on. Like they don't attack him because he's a ghoul as well. I mean, they go feral, right? But uh, he goes just regular ghoul. Why is this so hard? Oh my god! There we go. Oh, is he alive? Well, he's not anymore. <laughs> now he's not. He did now. See, so yeah, have a look around here, see if I can find anything good. Okay, so here's the journal number two. I want to find the rest of them, though, before I read them all to you. Like I said before, I want to find them all. Nice. Okay, industrial trunks. So we got some cool stuff here. Got some nice stuff, nice junk there. Ah, here's number one. Okay. Alright, so this is Alfred Parrish's journal number one. 102977. My name is Captain Alfred Parrish, and I'm the last survivor of Horizon Flight 1207. About two hours into our regular Boston St. John flight, our plane had a major electrical malfunction. We lost altitude and crash landed somewhere on the coast of Maine. Most of the passengers and crew were killed on impact but half a dozen of us managed to climb free from the wreckage. One passenger has gone to find help, but the rest of us will stay here. There's no use getting ourselves lost out there. 102377 Night falls and the temperature drops. The flames are still burning, but I think the danger's passed. If the engines were going to explode, they'd have done it by now. No word from the passengers that went to get help. I've been told his name is Gordy. I am tempted to set out with the rest of the group once morning comes, but I don't want to risk Gordy returning to an empty camp. We'll stay here for the night. A search party will be here soon enough, and we're in no rush. None of us were injured in the crash, thank God. 10.25.77 It's been two days, and we still haven't heard from Gordy or any search parties. It's decided. Cheryl, Barrett, Dustin, and I will head down the mountain. Helena will stay at camp in case Gordy returns. 102677. We've reached the town of Bar Harbor and it is entirely deserted. The shops are looted and a number of buildings were on fire when we arrived. Cheryl and Dustin were intent on putting them out, but there was nothing we could do. They burned out without spreading. It's strange though. I found newspapers dated October the 23rd. This place was abandoned recently. In fact, it was abandoned the very morning we crashed. We'll stop by camp to drop off the food we scavenged, but we'll have to keep searching along the coast for more people. Someone has to know what's going on. 102877. Five days. It took us five days to realize the world has ended. We finally found a family up the coast that was willing to talk with us. At least two other groups waved us off at gunpoint. Damn backwoods hillbillies. Old lady and her two middle-aged sons broke the news to us over stale cram and fresh eggs. She made it sound like it was every man for himself out here, but her family was kind enough. We thanked them for their hospitality and left. 
If what she says is true, we're going to need to build up our camp. We're in this for the long run. Okay, let's do uh, number two then. 11, 16, 78. We've got major problems. The temperature's dropping, the radiation's rising, and we're all but out of food. Most of the prime scavenging grounds along the docks have been claimed by the fishing gangs. Gordy washed up with two harpoons in his gut, and Barrett had a run-in with some feral dogs. His leg's infected and getting worse, but he's still not as bad as Cheryl and Dustin. I don't know if it's the radiation or something in the water, but they're looking awful. I'd be surprised if we lasted the week. 122078. Something's happened to Cheryl and Dustin. They're different. Violent. They've changed into something unhuman, but I can change them back. There has to be a cure. Okay, so he was looking for a cure. He's trying to change his friends back. He's awfully uh, hostile, though, for, you know, being seeming like a pretty decent guy. He did kind of attack us on sight after all, you know? Plus, why is he in Zealot Marine armor as well? Like, he was a captain. I don't know why he would be in full military armor. Doesn't make that much sense, to be honest. I don't know, maybe there's more to it. If I'm missing stuff, let me know. But that doesn't make sense to me that he'd be in full military armor as a captain. He'd just be in, like, a captain suit, you know? I mean, he has a black flight suit on, so I get that. Well, anyway, I'm going to go back down to the base. I'm going to craft um, some pockets on this armor. I should have plenty of adhesive and stuff to do it. And, uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll proceed. Then we'll actually do some exploring. We'll finally have our gear pretty much set up, although my armor is less than I... or my weapons are less than ideal, but the combat shotgun is nice enough, and uh, sniper rifle is for long range. So I think that's going to wrap up this episode, though, guys. So I will see you next time, and we'll start exploring in earnest.